In this video, we will create the main screen for our first knowledge check question. So let's first go review the storyboard for this slide so we know what we're going to do. So I'm going to read over and explain some of the elements on this storyboard slide for knowledge check one. So on the base layer, we are going to have text that's going to say, indicate the throwing order in the image below to juggle three balls. And we will also have caption instructional text that will say, drag the numbers, so there's gonna be numbers on screen, to the correct ball to indicate the throwing order. So they'll have to drag them in the correct order. So number one would be for the first ball that needs to be thrown, two, the second ball, and three, the third ball. The avatar that we're going to have on screen is going to be the same one, but we're going to make her larger. And the juggling balls will be shown like this, so they're all going to be yellow so that there's no like hint on how to throw them and what order to throw them in. And then later we will look at the slide layers that will go with this screen because we're going to be creating a drag and drop question that already will have slide layers built into it for the correct, incorrect, and try again screens. So we'll get to that in the next video. So I'm just going to read over the programming considerations here. So we're going to insert a free form slide to create a drag and drop question type. And in the form view, we're going to indicate the drag items, which would be your numbers one, two, and three. We're also going to indicate where they will be dragged to which will be our hotspot areas on the drop targets. We'll get to that in a little bit. And these will be the juggling balls themselves. So those will be your drop targets. This freeform slide will create three slide layers, one for the correct response, incorrect response, and try again. So the learner can try the question a second time. If the learner gets the question wrong a second time, there is a link in the remediation to light box to a slide called Knowledge Check 1 Remediation that shows the correct answer. On this slide, there is a button to review where the material came from. So we're first going to focus on the main screen, so we'll just be creating the main screen elements. And in the next video, we will look at the slide layers and actually configuring the slide with the drop items and the drop targets. So let's first go and convert this slide that we inserted a long time ago when we were creating the layout for this course. We're going to convert it now to a freeform slide. So go up here to the left and it says right here, convert to freeform. So we're going to convert this slide into a freeform question slide. So just click that and then this dialog box pops up. And we're going to select drag and drop, but I'll just quickly go over what these other ones are before we do that. So drag and drop, we're going to create a drag and drop question to create interactivity by setting shapes as drag items and drop targets. We could choose this one, which is pick one, pick one question and let the user choose a shape as the answer. Pick many. So we'd pick many questions and let the user choose more than one shape as the answer. Text entry. So text entry questions let the user type their answer in the text field as shown. Hotspot. So this allows us to create um, hotspot areas on an image that the user can then click on to indicate the correct areas on the screen. Shortcut key. So shortcut key questions let the user answer with a keystroke or a key combination. So for this question type though, we're gonna select drag and drop. So just click on drag and drop and click okay. All right, so before we do anything in this view, so there's two views here, form view, that's the one we're in right now, and slide view, which would go back to our slide. So the form view is where we're going to set the drag items and the drop targets, but we have nothing on our screen right now. So we can't do that yet. So we need to go over to the slide view and just set up the slide as we normally would. So let's first insert the slide title. So go here and we're going to call it knowledge check one.
And then we're going to bold it and change the color as we normally do. And I'm going to also delete this text box. We don't need that. Okay, there we go. And now let's go to the storyboard. And we're just going to copy in the text here that goes in the text box. So as you can see in the image here, we want it to be just right below the title. So it's going to say indicate the throwing order in the image below to juggle three balls. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to go up to home and just paste special. There we go. So we just get the text. And I'm just going to position that a little bit. Okay, I'll just leave it there for now. And now let's copy in the avatar. I'm going to use step five lightbox slide here just to copy in an avatar that's similar to what we want, but we need to make her a little bigger. So I'm just going to copy her. And then go back to knowledge check one and paste. And now I'm going to make her bigger. So you can just eyeball it if you'd like. And make sure she's centered on screen. So you can just do that till you see the, the line down the middle. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And now let's just go copy one of the juggling balls from the light box slide from step five. I don't need to copy all of them and you'll see in a minute. So just one. Okay, so now let's go and make the juggling ball a little bit bigger. So right click, size and position. And I'm just going to change 46 to 52. You can just eyeball it if you like, but I think this will look good. Okay, and we'll just move that down. And I'm going to just copy this two more times because this time we're not going to make them different colors because this is a knowledge check question. We want to see if they will know what order that the balls need to be thrown in and not be given a hint by the colors of the balls. I'm just going to make this first one go in front of the one behind. So just go up here to arrange and click bring to front. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And now let's do one more thing with the juggling balls. So just click on one of them and go up to animations. And we're just gonna delete out these arc motion paths because we don't need them for this slide. Okay, so those are deleted. Now let's go create the text boxes for the numbers one, two, and three. So if you recall from the storyboard, let's go back and look at that. We need to create these numbers that they're going to drag onto the juggling balls in the correct order. So let's create those now. So I'm going to go to insert text box. And I'm going to type one and I'm going to change the size and bold it. I'm going to make that 18 and I'm going to put a shadow and I'm going to center it. All right. That looks fairly good, I think. And I'm just going to eyeball it over here. I'm going to copy that two more times. And 
then I'm going to just change the numbering. Okay, and I'll just position these a little bit better now. Okay, and now let's put in the speech bubble instructional text. So we'll go over to step five, lightbox sign. We're just gonna copy this one. And then let's go back to the storyboard and we're going to copy in the correct text. So the correct text will be drag the numbers to the correct ball to indicate the throwing order. So just highlight that and then go over here to paste special, keep text only. There we go. And now I'm just going to reposition this a bit better. All right, so let's just look at the timeline for a second now. Just make sure everything is out to 60 seconds. Yes, they're all out to about there, so that's good. And now I just want to show you on the right-hand side, the play triggers, what happened when we converted this to a free-form drag-and-drop slide. It automatically changed our play trigger to a submit interaction, so it's going to have a submit button now on it instead of a next and previous button. And we can go down here to the main screen and we can right click and go to properties. And we can see that this is what it did automatically for us. It just checked the submit right here and unchecked all these navigation controls. So that's about it for the main screen for knowledge check one. In our next video, we will set the drag items, drop targets, and configure the correct, incorrect, and try again slide layers.